It's perched very nicely here. Move you again. This is a species of Tynabasis, but we can only find females of this one at the moment. Hi, I'm Dr. Rory Dow, and I'm at the Eco Research Camp. This camp, 32 hectares, is situated in the Campar Peninsula, Real Sumatra. So I'm using the Eco Research Camp as a base of operations for the Odonata survey. So Odonata are dragonflies and damselflies to the layman. So they're winged insects and they're important predators. They're, all species are carnivorous. So what, one of the things that we're finding here is that the Campar Peninsula has a few unique species. We expected this because peat swamp forest in Sumatra had not been studied until now really for, for, for Odonata. We would expect there to be new species, new species of science here, um, and that, that has proved to be the case. So we have two or three completely new species never found anywhere else at all because there's not a great deal of this habitat left elsewhere in Sumatra. Sort of into here, yeah. Okay, so today we're going to go to the GHG Flux Monitoring Tower. There is a, an access road going through the forest to reach it, and then there are two trails there. So we're going to be going to that trail to see what Odonata, what dragonflies and damselflies, we can find there. Go on the long trail. The, the most important piece of equipment is the net, which is a modular system, which if one part breaks, I can replace it. Once I catch a dragonfly or damselfly, I will put it in one of these envelopes in this box. In my backpack I have more boxes so that if we go somewhere different I can then put the samples from a different place into a different box so I know where they came from. I have a small GPS with me to record where we've been working. So that, that's everything I need for today and so now we're going to go get in the car and go to the site. It's quite an attractive species. It's very common in, in swamp forest, generally. These guys, when we identify them, we have to look very closely at some tiny little structures on the end of the abdomen called the anal appendages. And that's where most of the differences are between the species and under the microscope. Well, the one I showed you earlier, it's perched very nicely here. Your camera, because... Your camera. <laughs> this is a species of Tynabasis, but we can only find females of this one at the moment. We haven't found the male. So, we're back from the peat swamp forest, and I guess you will have seen that it's rather difficult to walk there and for me it's quite hard to work because it's very hard to swing the net in many places so we're going to go to the lab now and i'll see you all in the lab okay. <sighs> we've been doing surveys across the campar peninsula there's another number of species that have never been recorded on mainland sumatra before there are also a lot of species that are new records for real province the main conclusion is the ecosystems here are in good shape. They are basically healthy. They have a, 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 a large, for the type of habitat, fauna of Odonata, including specialist species. Yeah, it's, it's a very, very important area.